Hey internet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay or Lijo, and today we're going to be speaking on four reasons why people don't respect you. This is going to be kind of out of my rant videos and uh, take it for what you will. It's my opinion. So uh, we're going to get right in. If you'd like to talk to me about this subject or things related to your brain journey, you can book a video session with me below on Snug. So here we go. So what I wanted to do is peel apart some of those areas that you might be disrespecting the world and as a result leads to people not really respecting you. So number one is you're not respecting the environment. So what is the intention for this space? Wherever you are, right? Wherever these people you feel are disrespecting you, what is the intention of the space that you're in? And are you respecting that intent? Are you at work and you're just rolling out the TMI? Are you just rolling out the inappropriate references? Because hey, like we're friends and like it's cool, so I'm just gonna bring up that time. Okay, what space are you in right now? What is the intent of that space? Is that intent categorically related to your college friends and doing mushrooms together? No, probably not. It's, you know, if it's a work environment, especially not. So are you respecting the intent of that space? If not, then that's gonna lead people to see you with a level of disrespect because you're not respecting the environment, the intent of what you are there, what the collective is there to do. You just roll into your New World Order, you know, non-dress code job with your t-shirt on and basketball shorts and, you know, they don't have a dress code, so it's cool. But, you know, we've all heard that term or that saying, don't dress for the job that you have, dress for the one you want. Well, it's again about respecting the environment. So why don't you go to a wedding wearing the same clothes you would wear dirt biking? People just say, oh, well, that's inappropriate to wear. Why is it inappropriate to wear? Because it's not respectful for the intent of the space. The intent of the space is celebration between two people, okay? It's not dirt biking. What you are putting out into that environment is a reflection of your level of recognition and respect to the intent of what is going to happen there. So number two, you're not respecting time. Now, depending on how much time you spend with someone, you have the ability to waste hours, days, weeks, months of their life. Just let that sink in. You have that ability. And let's not even start with potentially how much you're wasting yours. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be like super productive or even really efficient with how you're managing time. It just means you have to be intentional about what does and does not need to happen during that span of time. Respecting that time is a limited resource. It's our most valuable resource. Here's just me talking, right? And by you just shoving stuff in there that doesn't matter, you're literally decreasing someone's lifespan in which they could be doing something else. And people pick up on that. So number three, kind of the obvious one I think most people go to is, well, you're not respecting others. It's usually like, well, like they're dumb, they're worthless, they don't know what they're talking about. And this is where your mind has to shift, right? Because every single person out there is better than you in something. It may not be the thing at hand, but they're better than you in something. So because they are better than you, you owe them as another human some level of respect for the thinkers out there especially and so even if that's like crochet knitting you know the eiffel tower into like a freaking whatever it is they're still better than you and they can offer some other perspective and additionally the whole concept of mutual respect as in if you don't respect me it's gonna be really hard for me to respect you just jump the line on that. Just find some way to respect them, even if you think you don't, find a way to respect them. And then, now that's not a blocker in them respecting you. I can just like hear all like the feeling dominance out there being like, everyone has the right to be heard. And I'm just like, yeah, they're good at something, maybe it's crochet, respect it anyway. <laughs> all right, and the fourth one, and I actually think this is the most important for a lot of people is that you're not respecting yourself. And what we're talking about here is being a person of your word. And that starts with what you're telling yourself. If you tell yourself you're going to do X today, but then you don't, 
whose ability, either consciously or unconsciously, are you going to start to doubt? It's gonna be your own. So you're gonna start doubting your own ability. And if you don't believe you, why should I believe you? If you don't trust you to follow through, why should, why should I trust you to follow through? So try this on for size. Be a person of your word or don't say anything at all. Or reduce your word down to the thing that you can actually make happen so that you are being a person of your word. I know a lot of smart people who lack in confidence and a lot of that lack in confidence comes from the fact that at the end of the day, they don't trust their own follow through. They don't trust the word that they say to themselves that they will do. And so they subconsciously know that a lot of ways other people shouldn't trust them either. And that really comes off in your level of confidence as you address the world. And some of those confident people are the ones that you can really rely on, trust, and respect. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about some areas in which you may want to look at to build that respect with those around you, some ways that you can respect your environment, uh, that you can respect time, that you can respect others, and then of course, respect yourself. So I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, internet friends.